Hello students, welcome to our channel. Now I am going to explain you about female reproductive system in humans. This is the structure of female reproductive system in humans. Let us see the part one by one. First, a pair of ovaries and second, a pair of fallopian tubes and single uterus and the mouth of the uterus called the cervix and the passage leads to vagina. The ovaries are called as the primary female sex organs present one on each side of the lower abdomen and connected one side to the pelvic wall that is a hip wall and other side with the uterus with the help of the muscles called as ligaments. This is the structure of TS of single ovary in females. As I said in my previous video in male reproductive system, the formation of sperms are taking place after the puberty in males. Whereas in females, when the girl child born itself, nearly thousands of eggs are present in each ovary. These immature cells are called as primary follicles. It gets maturity stage by stage. Like the primary follicles are now matured into secondary follicles, secondary into tertiary follicle, And finally it gets a final stage called as graphene follicle which is the matured follicle. From the matured follicle, the ovum is released at the time of puberty. In females, the first puberty or the menstruation takes place. It is called as menarche and at the age of 45 to 50, this cycle, menstrual cycle gets stopped. This stage is called as menopause. After the menopause stage, the menstrual cycle gets stopped and the ovum will not be released. After the maturity of the graphene follicles, the ovum gets released from the graphene follicle. So the process of releasing of ovum from the ovary, it is termed as ovulation. Later this ovum is collected by the fallopian tube. Every alternate month, each ovary will release an egg. For example, first month if the right side ovary is releasing egg means, second month the left ovary will release and third month again the right side ovary will release the egg. In this manner, every alternate month the ovary is releasing an egg and the menstrual cycle will take place every 28 days once. Functions of ovaries The ovary secretes female hormones called as estrogen and progesterone and it helps in the formation of egg as well as the releasing of egg or ovum. Now coming to the functions of estrogen, it regulates the menstrual cycle and plays a vital role in secondary sexual characters at the time of puberty in females and it helps to maintain the pregnancy it keeps the bones strong in females the finger like projections called as fimbriae infundibulum ampulla and isthmus together constitute a pair of tube called as a fallopian tube or the oviduct now the released egg from the ovary it is collected by this finger like projections called as fimbriae and it is taken into this fallopian tube this egg will wait for few days for the fertilization act during the copulation or uh, intercourse time if the semen is introduced into the vagina then automatically the sperm will swim and it is reaching the fallopian tube and it gets fertilized with the ovum or egg after fertilization this egg is transferred into the uterus for the process of implantation that is attachment with the uterine wall the fertilized egg or zygote gets transferred into the uterus for the process of implantation after that the tissue connection between the mother and the child is developed which is known as placenta which helps to send the nutrients from the mother to the child functions of fallopian tube the male gamete and the female gamete that is the sperm and ovum get fused within this fallopian tube hence it acts as a site of fertilization then the transfer of zygote or fertilized egg into the uterus for the process of implantation then third one the transfer of unfertilized egg to the uterus during the menstruation time it releases along with the blood and mucus through the vagina now coming to the single inverted pear shaped muscular organ called as uterus or womb which is attached with the pelvic region with the help of the muscles called as ligaments and this uterus is made up of three layers outer thin perimetrium middle muscular myometrium and inner glandular endometrium outer the layer is called as perimetrium which helps to protect the uterus middle myometrium which are made up of 
strong muscles with the help of these muscles the strong contraction relaxation taking place at the time of delivery of the child so with the help of this contraction relaxation the child is pushed downwards through the vagina and third layer is endometrium which is a glandular layer it undergoes cyclical changes during the menstrual cycle at the time of releasing of ovum from the ovary process called as ovulation at the same time the inner lining of the uterus called as endometrium it gets thickened and it is richly supplied with blood vessels for the attachment of the embryo but the sperms are not entered so that the fertilization is not taking place so unfertilized egg is discharged from the fallopian tube and it is transferred to the uterus along with the ovum this inner lining called as endometrium gets ruptured so that the blood and mucus is also released so ovum blood and mucus are released through this cervix to the vagina and this process is termed as menstruation or periods if the sperms are fused with the egg then what will happen as i said to you earlier the sperms after fertilization with the egg the zygote is transferred into the uterus for the process of implantation that means the zygote gets attached to the uterine wall very deeply and then it is richly supplied with blood vessels the tissue connection is developed called as placenta this is the structure of placenta as well as the fetus within the mother's womb the disc shaped structure called as placenta which are surrounded by many finger like projections called as villi around the fetus and the blood spaces around the mother so this finger like projections called as placental villi which can increase the surface area for the absorption of glucose minerals amino acids oxygen etc from the mother to the developing embryo and from the developing embryo it releases the unwanted waste products that can be sent to the mother the uterus gets connected to the vagina by the part called as the cervix which is called as the mouth of uterus cervix and vagina together constitute birth canal and the vagina is called as the birth pole now coming to the functions of cervix cervix allow the flow of menstrual blood from the uterus into the vagina during pregnancy the cervix gets closed to keep the fetus very safely within the uterus until the birth and it helps to avoid further entry of sperms and during the child birth the cervix dilates or it gets open and it allows the passage of fetus from the uterus to the vagina and the last part of the female reproductive system is called as the vagina which is the birth pole functions of vagina it helps to receive the male penis during the process of copulation or intercourse and it acts as a passage or pathway of menstruation through that the blood and mucus along with the ovum is released outside and it is acting as the passage for the fetus at the time of delivery i think this video will be very useful for the students expecting a valuable suggestion in the comment box thank you for watching